There are several novel strategies being thought of uh, and clearly already advancing uh, clinical research science. One of those strategies is uh, engaging one's immune system to kill the, the cancer cells. A particular study that uh, we are discussing today is uh, focused on trying to develop a novel therapeutic combination for patients with metastatic uh, kidney cancer. In the previous studies, we know that antiangiogenic therapy, a therapy that is targeting blood vessel formation with the tumor, is extremely effective in kidney cancer. And one of the drugs used in the study, bevacizumab, has a single agent activity, as well as in combination with interferon, another form of immunotherapy. There was no combination of MK3475 and bevacizumab tested before in kidney cancer. And we believe that uh, this combination is going to enhance immune effect of MK3475. There are two parts to this study. The main goal for the first part is to find the maximum dose of pembrolizumab in combination with bevacizumab that can be safely given to subjects with metastatic clear cell kidney cancer. This is called phase 1b. The main goal for the second part is to find out what effects, both good and bad, pembrolizumab in combination with bevacizumab has on subjects who haven't received treatment for metastatic clear cell kidney cancer. This is called phase two. This study is open to men and women age 18 and older. Phase 1b participants must have failed at least one prior treatment for metastatic clear cell kidney cancer. Phase 2 participants must not have received prior treatment for metastatic clear cell kidney cancer and must be candidates for standard first-line therapy. Participants must have at least one tumor measuring about one half inch or greater by CT scan. They must meet minimum criteria for performing activities of daily living and must have adequate liver, kidney, blood, and blood clotting results within 28 days prior to registration for study therapy. There are other criteria that must be met to be eligible for this study. Talk to your doctor to learn more. A full description of this clinical trial is also available at www.clinicaltrials.gov using trial number 02348008.